Welcome Galactic Family. Limiting beliefs are ideas in which we deeply believe and hold us within a particular reading or interpretation of reality, and because of their restrictive and closed nature, end up compromising our possibilities before life and even our freedom of choice. That's right, limiting beliefs, as the name says, limit you, taking away your freedom of choice. They make you believe in the existence of a single path, and without you consciously realizing it, these beliefs lead you into a line of thought and reasoning, which you determine first in, through thoughts and feelings, and then a way of you, through choices, the only reality that seems to be possible in the closed and restrictive reading of these beliefs. And this is how, little by little, a circuit is established that passes through its interior and then manifests itself externally, finally creating its reality. Thoughts generate feelings, and feelings generate physical sensations that trigger attitudes and actions. If you are bound by limiting beliefs, your thoughts, feelings, and feelings tend to repeat themselves, and consequently you end up repeating choices, actions, and attitudes, which in the end end up confirming your beliefs with your results. Ready. The vicious cycle is established which will inevitably trap you more and more within this limited and dead-end world, since it has as its main objective to confirm for you that there is no way out, and little by little you have the feeling that it is hostage of a self-fulfilling prophecy, where what you fear the most seems to be repeated and confirmed at every moment. With each choice generated from these limiting beliefs, you feel as if you are in a web, which captures and arrests you within a scene that seems to repeat itself relentlessly and from which, no matter how hard you try, you cannot get out. To end this cycle you need to first understand how it started. How is a limiting belief? All of us, at some point in our stories, experienced painful situations, a moment that struck us deeply, by the strong feelings they awakened. Almost always, these experiences are in our childhood or adolescence, but can occur at any time, even in adulthood, when we are more mature. Whenever it is, we can say that this first painful experience creates a matrix and from it are built defenses to protect and prevent pain from recurring. If this experience has not been well managed, if the pains of this experience have not been properly cared for and resolved, we will have the point of creating a limiting belief. We can use the image of a great flow of water, passing through the earth, to illustrate this situation. Just as the water leaves a furrow in the ground where it has run, the painful experiences that have not been resolved, also leave in their emotional memory, marks that will determine our reading and interpretation of the facts. When, then, a similar situation occurs in your present life, the waters of feelings, thoughts and attitudes end up going the same way again, reaffirming that there is no other possibility but the path of pain already known. This is how you end up believing you have no way out. Who never found himself thinking in the face of a situation that is repeated many times in his life I cannot believe that I am living it again. It seems like this will never change. The way to change is to initially become aware of repetition, to realize that the scene repeats itself, however much you try and want to do differently and that this scene is a painful scene that hurts you, and that brings you to a similar pain that has already happened at some point in your past. The second step to deconstruct limiting beliefs and their endless repetitions is to welcome and care for this pain. Remember that in the first event that triggered this pain it was not possible to properly care for the wounds. So now is the time to leave judgments and criticism aside and give you laxity. Once you have received the welcome and the necessary care, it is time to release these memories, the time for releasing and deconstructing these beliefs and the pains attached to them, is slow and you need patience in this process. Often it takes a guiding, 
someone you trust, it will help you in that crossing. As you break free from the limits of these beliefs, your thoughts, feelings, and choices will also change, and consequently your vibration, which is the energy you emanate. So naturally, other paths show, the waters of life can finally run free. New opportunities and people will emerge in your life. Finally you can feel the creative and spontaneous flow of life manifesting, and feel a world of infinite possibilities opening up to you. At this point, you stop to limit yourself and feel that, once again, you are free to choose the path you want to follow. You are the creator and master of your destiny.